what's funny is I've been talking through the lavalier the whole time I was filming. Apparently, <laughs> this wasn't plugged in the camera. So, bonehead move 101. Hey guys, it's me again, Chris. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install a cheap heat sink for an M2 SSD. This is something I, I got from Shopee. It's about 76, 78 pesos. And we're gonna attach it to the SSD here, right behind Noctis's leg. There you go. That's a SanDisk 128GB um, SSD. I'm actually recording the screen as well while I'm doing this. So just so you'd have an idea at the actual temperature that the SSD is currently running with. And it's 52 degrees Celsius. 52 degrees Celsius. That's the current value. Minimum value is 51 degrees. Highest value is 55. We're gonna see if this thing improves the temperature uh, of the SSD, if, if there's any at all. So, we're about to find out, so give me one sec. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna explain to you why I moved the radiator at the side. Uh, I did a lot of research about proper radiator placement. A lot of people are saying that the best position for your radiator is actually at the top since it's a natural it's a natural way to heat this person, something like that. It goes to the top. Uh, what that would essentially do is make sure that the inside of the actual CPU runs cool. Uh, during that time, my CPU was around 66 to 65 degrees Celsius given that it's a uh, Ryzen 3600 um, CPU. 65 is still not a good baseline in my opinion, considering that I am using a uh, water cool system here. So, based on research, a lot of people are saying that that the putting the actual radiator at the side help lower the temperature of um, CPU since cooler air is coming from the outside going in making the radiator a lot cooler and the problem is it might affect your actual GPU the GPU's temperature based on an experiment done by Kyle from Bitwit that's that's not necessarily the case based on his experiment he found out that the only way for, for the GPU, or the only time that the GPU is affected with um, side-mounted radiators is when you're using a blower-style GPU. Those are the GPUs with, with, the covered, um, with the covered sides. And I'm so sorry, the dog is so noisy. With, with the covered sides and... And that's the only time that 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 the temperature of the GPU rises. When you use a regular GPU, like this one, the one I'm using, where, where, where it's more open, it doesn't really have that effect at all. And my temperature dropped from 60 to 65. I'm stable now at 52, 55 when idle. Or no, even 50 when idle. And goes up to uh, 65 or 75, even 80 sometimes when I'm doing something extensive or when I'm testing with um, Cinebench. So anyways, going back to the real topic of the video, I'm going to go ahead and install this heatsink. So, I'm not entirely sure how to do this. There's no manual, there, there's no instruction, but I, I checked some photos online and I saw a bunch of guys use it. They didn't use the these rubber bands though. I, I don't think I'm going to use that as well since this thing comes with an adhesive anyways. 
this is the adhesive tape, so just want to measure it. Yeah, it looks good. So it comes with you know the the wipe the wipes that regularly regularly comes with um, tempered glass for your phone. So I guess they want me to clean this first, which I'm going to do right now. The paint, the paint actually chipped immediately. They just wiped it with a wet white okay. on this side too. Ha! Huh. I've seen heat sinks for SSDs, but it's the first time I, I, I seen anything that just you know it's, it's it just like it sandwiched the adhesive right in the middle. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, and if it's going to work. I guess we'll find out together. Normally, the, the heat sinks that I see are more like sleeves, or, or there's a back plate. And that's where you're gonna mount the the top the top part of the actual heat sink. Um, there are also heat sinks that that are pretty pretty cool. The ones with 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 fans. Uh, although I think of course those would be more expensive. There 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 are heat sinks with RGB as well. Uh, there's a lot of types out there, but this is the cheapest one I found, and I want to test it out so here it is not really that straight but it doesn't matter uh, I just want to test it anyways if it works I'll keep it if not I'll get rid of it right so I'm gonna install it back to the computer I'm, I'm sorry I'm just trying to line everything up I'm being a bit analytic with this heat sink you know what I'll, I'll just plug it in there Or, you know, putting not this back, I might as well test it out first. See if we even boot up. The operating system on, on uh, this computer is installed on the actual SSD, so we'll find out. If it doesn't boot, then I messed everything up. If it does, we're gonna test, or we're gonna check the temperature of the SSD. See if it helps. So here's the computer booting up. I know my monitor's filthy. I haven't cleaned it up. I've um, been very busy, so I'll do it when I have the time. So here we go, Connor. I named my American bully Connor after my favorite UFC fighter of all time, Connor McGregor. I'm a big fan of the UFC, started with UFC 1. No one, no one is like Colin McGregor. He, he's great at you know selling fights. He's a, he's very he's very skilled, very talented, very precise. He talks a lot of crap, but man, he backs it up. So I've never seen that before. There, there's people who just great at trash talking, Bisping. Um, Ortiz, well, Ortiz isn't really that good at talking trash. Chael Sonnen is a lot better. But the difference between Chael and Connor is, Connor always backs it up. So, 
take a look here. So yeah, uh, if you would look, here's what I was talking about. Um, AMD Ryzen, the temperature, right now it's 57, 56, 55. And it's really hot tonight. Um, I think it's about to rain. Here in the Philippines, when it's about to rain, it gets really, really humid and really hot. So at 55, it's not that bad. So I'm just... Okay. Whoa! Oh wow, it actually works. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show it to you. So earlier, the temperature that uh, that, that um oh god, I, I I hope I the computer actually recorded the screen capture, but earlier the. Temperature it was running on was 50, 52, 53 tops if I'm not mistaken, or 52. Right now it's 46. So the cheap heat sink actually helped out. Amazing. Although I, I, I did a pretty crappy job in attaching the adhesive, it still works. So the, the bad... Um, the bad adhesive application job is negligible at this point since, well, I, I can't believe it, honestly. Um, I thought, you know, there's not going to be any difference. Uh, at most, I'm probably going to gonna get uh, a, a, a one degree or two degrees difference, but five, hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all, yeah. So definitely worth the 78 pesos I, I, I paid for. <laughs> it's amazing how, how these shops in China come up with such you know, cheap technology. That, that actually works. It actually works. So yeah, I hope you learned something from the video, the very least. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit like and subscribe, share, share it with your friends. If you encounter, or if, you, if, if ever you encounter this kind of problem and, and you're wondering if this thing works, it does. And if you want to know how to install it, you know, just... I'm pretty sure someone would comment if I did it wrong. Well, just either follow what I did or follow whatever someone comments. I'm pretty sure if someone comments, he probably knows what he's talking about. Because I have no idea. But anyways, it works. It looks it looks good actually. Kind of balances out the, the black and uh, on the motherboard. So yeah, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace.